trying to go natural. Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm glad to be back. I'm back with my special edition, my Black Friday predictions forecast. What's coming up in the natural hair Black Friday sales just for you. I couldn't leave you guys hanging. People were asking about it. It's late, but it's not too late. It's just in time, I want to say. Yeah, so what are the biggest, best natural hair sales for Black Friday 2019? These are my predictions. So I think this is what it's going to be or even better. But of course, I'm not 100% sure. Disclaimer, disclaimer. But this is just based on how the trend this year and the sales that we got last year. So let's get started. So of course, I have to start with Honey's Handmade because they went crazy last year. And I think they're going to do it again. So last year, we saw 60% off everything. So I'm expecting to see 60% off this year. And I heard some little whispers around the emails that I'm subscribed to about 75% off. So I'm thinking 75% off maybe a couple items or something. So yeah, because I don't think she's going to do 75% off everything. 60% was kind of crazy enough. But yeah, if you love Honey's Handmade, look out for her sale. Definitely get subscribed to her mailing list. Um, of course, usual disclaimers. Don't ask her nothing. Don't send her no emails. Don't talk to her. She ain't talking to you. At least that's my experience. And be careful and good luck to all. <laughs> Right, okay, but the, the products are good. I love her deep conditioners, I would say. I recommend her deep conditioners, but I haven't had a problem with any of her products. Everything did the job, everything was moisturizing and stuff like that. I probably will be getting some. <laughs> we'll see for my haul. I'm trying to be very minimal this year, but we'll see how things go when Black Friday hits and when those numbers pop. You all know what that does to like the chemicals in the brain, so we'll see what we end up with. But I'm thinking Honey's Handmade will be in there. So next we have Miel Organics. I think I pronounce it different from everybody else. I don't know. Y'all know what I'm talking about, right? So I'm thinking that they're gonna have 60% off again this year. I think they had 60% off last year. So that's another big one. And that's the one I think I wanna get. So I've used like a few male products on my channel and I really enjoy them. So I'm looking forward to like really going at it. Uh, well, no, not going at it. <laughs> Reformed. I'm looking forward to trying a few things from male this year as well. So at 60% off, don't mind if I do. Yeah. <laughs> For Miel, I mean, I liked her old, like, original line deep conditioner and stuff. It just had a really strong scent. I haven't really tried a lot from her, but I have liked everything that I tried. And I think overall, I, I think her stuff is pretty good. So I don't think you should have a problem with anything you try. You guys know Sultanicals reps 50% pretty much every year. I'm expecting that again. So Sultanicals, I love her frizzwares leave-in. That's like one of my favorite leave-ins, like top five favorite leave-ins. I also love her slip and slide, not proof hair glide. Definitely a joy to use. Definitely slip, slip, <laughs> and the slip is there. And it's moisturizing and everything. So I recommend those two leave-ins. I recommend her butter shampoos. It's kind of like co-washes, but I like them. Very moisturizing co-washes. Deep conditioners, I like the Afrotastic Curl Elastic, and I like the Monoi. I like some others, but I think she had um, reduced her product list. <laughs> um, not too much into her stylers, as you guys know. I do have, I think, her glaze or something, and I want to give that another try, let's say. Let's just say next year and keep it real. So I do want to do some more Sultanicals. I have her Chibi Ginger DC, which I haven't tried yet either. So that's also going to come up on my channel next year. <laughs> but yeah, I like Sultanicals. Very creative brand. Great products. Get on it as well. I also see Nectar and Main at 50% off, which is great. Especially if you like She Scented, because the products are very similar to She Scented. But I think like She Scented probably does like 40% off. So... You may get a little extra sale, I guess, doing Nectar and Main. I'm not sure if I'm gonna do it. I don't know. The 60% off have me for sure. Everything else, we'll see. Based on vibes, I guess, we'll see. But definitely, I think I enjoyed everything that I tried. Check out my review and demo. The deep conditioner, I think, was my favorite. Definitely can't go wrong with a good deep conditioner. Main Choice is another 50% off one. And that one, I think I will try just because I still haven't tried Main Choice. Like, what is wrong with me? It's about time. I need to get in there and try it. I know I ask you guys for this every year. But let me know your favorite Main Choice products down below. This is the year I'm going to try Main Choice. 50% off. Yeah, <laughs> it's time. I think I had originally seen like mixed reviews on Main Choice, but I think she has so many lines now. Something should work for me, so I'm going to look into it. And Black Friday, I think Main Choice is gonna see me, so I'm still 
restraining, but okay, who we have? Honey is handmade, male and main choice, I think. I think that's it. We'll see. So Abaya Naturals also, I believe, is 50% off. I have one thing from them, I believe. I think it's like their custard or gel or something like that. So I do want to give that a try next year again. Um, you all see why I'm trying to keep it low, right? Because I pretty much have everything that I'm mentioning here already. A lot of them, not everything, but I have everything that I've mentioned so far. I have the products already, so don't need to buy nothing except Matrix, right? Anyway, that's why I'm trying to keep it low. But I got the one, I got the Obaya Naturals to try. And I'm hoping for good things. I've heard good things, so I'm hoping for good things. Then we have Entwine Couture. That's another one that I've been meaning to try. So I'm going to have to give it another look because at first it didn't have the ingredients listed and now they do. The ingredients are interesting so i took one peek at it and it wasn't like all natural but it wasn't like all horrible so i'm gonna have to give it a good look see then we have kinky cashmere 50 percent off so i haven't tried them i am interested in trying them i just haven't got around to it yet this is why i'm a pj <laughs> or was i don't know but because like there's so many products out there so many brands out there i haven't tried all despite my best efforts as you can see on my channel i still haven't tried everything i have my eye on them i'm not saying i'm gonna bite this year but I do have my eye on them for one day and 50% off. Sprouted Curlies, they have pretty much deep conditioners. They're also 50% off. So I did use their deep conditioners and I enjoyed them. But it wasn't as well for me or hydrating for me as like the She Scented stuff. So it is definitely great, especially if you like the more buttery, richer stuff, then you will love it. Um, I do find like pretty much all of the conditioners were very similar, like probably a similar base, but different kind of highlight ingredients. So if you're low porosity, especially maybe go with the banana, go with the agave and then see what you think. But they pretty much all felt the same. I won all of them, I think, in a giveaway. I definitely recommend them and give them a try if you like richer deep conditioners. Curls usually has kind of great deals but not necessarily 50% off like they might have a bundle for $25 that kind of thing but it usually works out to be around in that 50% off range so curls is one you can also look into curls is another one that has a lot of good ingredients but some stuff that like, is not all natural like it's not like sultana curl she says it's kind of like a little more commercial but I like the coconut cleanser I like the spray leave-in the creme brulee by me beautiful i did get a couple of their stuff just to try in terms of like the better value like more reasonably priced but still good quality natural hair products and they tend to go really good for black friday as well around that 50 percent off range again as well so i think last year they had like two products for eight dollars and the products are usually about nine dollars eight ninety nine so that's a good deal as well. By Made Beautiful, they have like True and Pure, those, those lines. And down to like kind of 45% off, we have Curl Origin. I love their protein treatment. I love the Maracuja Deep Conditioner. I still have a lot more Curl Origin to try. So I guess you'll see another Curl Origin video soon. 45% off, I'm thinking, and I recommend them. I think I pretty much recommend everything on this list. So yeah, I wouldn't stay you guys wrong. Curls and Potions, I definitely love her, like the sweetest owner ever and they're pretty much all sweet so that's like saying something, she was like extra sweet. Really nice products, I love her deep conditioners and I want to try more of like her treatments and just like her exciting novel kind of products so I think she has some chibi stuff. I do want to try more of her stuff, the only thing about her is that her stuff kind of sells out fast so you have to get on it to get some. So definitely subscribe to her mailing list if you're interested in her products because they will sell out fast. 45% off. I love her packaging and I love her shipping. She's one of those that gives you the fast shipping because I know some of you are in about that two month wait, that one month wait. <laughs> I know some of you are in about that life. I'm a PJ. I'm used to it. I have lots of products so I'm not in a rush. But if you're in a rush, Kills and Potions is a great one to get. I want to say Hitachi also has fast shipping. Caraveda has fast shipping. TGIN usually has like $9.99 for everything. So I'm expecting that again this year. Not sure if I'm going to actually buy anything. We'll see. Some of their stuff has silicones. So I have to be kind of on the lookout because silicones and my hair don't really get along. But their products are really moisturizing, even the ones with silicones. So if you're into TGIN, look out for that big sale from them. Then we have Jane Carter. Jane Carter, like, I think Black Friday they have 40% off. Cyber Monday they tend to have even more, like 50% off. And then I saw them doing this, like, 12 days of Christmas. So, like, just 
flash sales in December where you might get 75% off a particular thing. My favorite Jane Carter products, the spray leave-in definitely, the curl defining cream definitely. I like the curls to go leave-in as well. They have some treatments and stuff that are interesting too, like they have some kind of little oil and like a little foam yeah. that I enjoyed using as well. So yeah, so I recommend those from Jane Carter. If you're into certain products, like look back and see what they get for 75% off generally from the original line. She sent it, I think, was 40% off last year. I really have a lot of products this year, so I'm not even 100% sure if I'm gonna get she sent it. We will see. Can't believe I'm saying that. Um, I just have so much she sent it right now. <laughs> like, I already have a Black Friday haul. Y'all don't even know. But yeah, I love all her deep conditioners, as you guys know, pretty much. The pomegranate pear, I'm just in love with that. The original, like, rich moisture mask. The flaxseed, oh, the flaxseed um, charcoal. Activate the charcoal cleanser, I love that. Just all like the blueberry co-wash, like we'll be here all day. Green tea, ginseng co-wash. Uh, you can't go wrong basically with she sent it, so anything you get really, pretty much is awesome. DC's co-washes are my favorites, but I also love like the leave-ins and the rinse outs and what did I try, the Tahiti cocktail styling gel. We could talk about yourself for a long time, so get you some, it's really good stuff. Blue Rose Beauty also was 40% off and I also love them. I love their shampoo, so if it's available, I might actually do a Blue Rose haul just to get some more shampoo. Chai Hair Tea Deep Conditioner. The curl creams I think are really good, like they're really light, you could probably use them as leave-ins, but they're really moisturizing and creamy, defining and everything, so like the Okra Curl Cream. Gorgeously Kinky is also 40% off, that's one that's on my radar. I don't think I'm gonna get them this year just because I'm trying like main choice and some of the other things. But it's definitely on my radar and probably by next year, Gorgeously Kinky and I can finally get acquainted. So I'm looking forward to that. The packaging just looks so cool. The ingredients look similar to She Scented Again. Nectar and Main, She Scented, Gorgeously Kinky. Even that Ujui, the ingredients kind of look similar. Curl cool, Origin is kind of a heavier version of those, but it's also kind of similar. Be Mine Organics, also 40% off. I haven't tried them yet. I do have two things from them, so I want to try them next year <laughs> and just see what I think. It just seems to strike me as kind of more like the buttery type thing, so if you like the butters, if you're like more of a Shea Moisture type person, like it might be for you, but I haven't tried it, so I have no idea. Maybe it's like she sent it, who knows. I'm going to... Reveal, I guess, next year when I try it, and I'm actually getting excited to try it while I'm talking about it. So, yeah, we'll see. That's coming up soon. Bakura, you know, I also love Bakura. I just had a little Bakura haul video. They tend to be like around 30% off. I did see 30 to 50% off last year, so maybe they might be doing that again. Bakura is also a great one. I love the latte kind of leave in hair milk thing. I love pretty much all the deep conditioners. And I got some new stuff to try in that whole video, which I haven't tried yet, which is why I don't need to be buying anything for Black Friday, as you can hear from everything I haven't tried. But the Cura is definitely like top quality brand. So if you're looking to try the best, definitely try it. I do recommend it. Down to 35% off, I am going to mention two. Caraveda, I love the styling gel. The spray leave-in, I could take or leave. I do want to try the creme brulee kind of as a leave-in eventually. Not sure if I'm going to get them this year, probably next year, but the styling gel is everything. It's like in my top 10 gels when, you know, things don't really get on my top 10 list a lot. So in terms of gels, you all know the, the list already, right? Sweet Soul Magic, rest in peace. Um, Uncle Funky's Daughter, Camille Rose Naturals, the As I Am Curling Jelly, this Caraveda Baskin Bloom Twirly Hair Gel. Kinky Curly, Curling Custard. I don't even think I have a whole 10 on this list, I'll be honest. Kind of hits in a blank. So let me just go to the top six. Caravilla is on there. So, you know, it's a good one. Moisturizing, defining, not crunchy, long lasting, all that good stuff. And of course, um, Baskin Bloom also 35% off, giving that a special mention as well. I love the Herbal Air Cleanser, I love the Twirly Hair Gel, like you just heard. The Brahmi hair mask, those are my favorites from her. She's just doing a really awesome job. Active and positive as a role model, I guess, in the community. So, special shout out as well with the basket bloom. Last but not least, I guess, sort of, we have Camille Rose and the Nasty Naturals at 30% off. So, in Nasty Naturals, you know, I love the leave in. 30% off, probably not gonna get me this year, but I might even do it next year just to get the leave in and to try a little bit more from the line. 
Camille Rose, I love the butters. Like the whipped aloe butter gel, the curl maker, the caramel co-wash. I haven't tried a lot of her newer stuff. I did try the leave-in trio and I do love the honey for twists and braids. I love the oil for taking down twists and braids. And the latte, it is kind of defining but it kind of foams in my hair and it's kind of weird for me. So I don't think I'll necessarily get that again. But it wasn't bad either and I like it now just as a refresher. I use it like that. I've been kind of off the Camille Rose chain for a while. Just because like you saw 30%, ain't really gonna get me honey but I still have my eye on her and it's still like a really good quality brand and everything so if that's your boo because I know like I have one friend who just uses Camille Rose Naturals so if that's like you you just like to keep it simple stick to something in store and buy everything from one line then you definitely want to get on that Black Friday sale because 30% off still ain't no joke if compared to full price in the store I think for me Camille Rose Naturals if I was gonna get I would probably get at a hair show she tends to have everything even cheaper there and special special mention to Hitachi it's a black owned store 25% off and you can pretty much get all of these brands but kind of mix and match a lot of these brands only have like free shipping over a certain amount so it might get expensive trying to buy $70, $50 of each one so if you want to just kind of save money but still get stuff 25% off at Hitachi isn't bad at all so that's it I did it I came through for you guys I hope you enjoyed I hope this is useful for you Go out there, get your shopping in, tell me what you're getting, tell me any sales that you're interested in, any sales I missed, let me know down below. Tell me what your haul was, I'm going to post my haul video, hopefully it's going to be very tiny. <laughs> and I will see you guys soon, enjoy your Thanksgiving, happy Thanksgiving to everyone, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!